Hi Steve here and in this video I want to show you how to make a simple uh, PayPal buy now button and we're going to be making a, a buy now button for a physical product what we're going to be doing is selling a, a t-shirt uh, obviously a physical product we need to deliver that product so very important that we actually collect the customers um, mailing address and I'm going to show you uh, how we, we do that so the first thing you need to do is log into your PayPal account and if you don't get uh, sorry then go to merchant services if you don't get redirected click the button uh, for some reason Firefox doesn't redirect and then we need to click on get started and then we need to go to the website payment standard and now we have a selection of buttons to choose from buy now add to cart etc and we're going to create the buy now button now here you should see we've got the buy now button there we can actually select different buttons there but we're going to stick with our buy now button if you've already created some buy now buttons you can actually load in your save buttons and you can edit those save buttons and you can even copy those save buttons to create a new buy now button but I'm going to create one from scratch and we give it a, a name I'm going to call it t-shirt we can give, give it an item ID and this is very important you'll see this on the invoice later on so I'm going to give it an item ID this is going to be 002 um, obviously each item that you sell has a different item ID and we're going to give it a price now this is going to be a very low cost t-shirt because I'm actually going to purchase this later and show you what happens when a customer clicks on the t-shirt makes the purchase uh, show you what they see and exactly what you see in other words the emails you receive from PayPal etc so there we are 10 P for a t-shirt now we can change this is the button that they're going to currently see we can change how this appears we can add drop down menus to it we can add drop down menus to their prices we can add text fields to it we can even change the the button completely so customize the appearance we can use a smaller button display or not display the credit cards select a different language select the text we can even use our own image and in which case we have to enter the URL of the image so you have to have uploaded that image onto your web server um, before you do this now I have I've uploaded a t-shirt image let me show you that image Um, sorry there's the t-shirt image uh, this is actually what it looks like as part of the buy now button here it is and this is the standard buy now button okay so I'm not but I'm not going to use that I'm just going to click on the plain button there so we're just going to stick with that button there now we can have postage onto this now obviously for a t-shirt it's a physical item um, then we would normally had postage I'm not going to use postage for this because I'm obviously going to going to buy it so I'm, I don't really want to charge myself some postage but you would need to add the postage amount here and we can leave this one default use my secure merchant ID now step, step 2 track inventory we, I'm not going to track the inventory in this this gives you an option to actually um, get emails if you actually try oversell items so you have to associate uh, an inventory value with each item ID and PayPal will then track it and alert you when you actually sold too many uh, this is the important step as far as we're concerned is step 3 the advanced options uh, do you want your customer to change quantity orders no add special instructions yes they can actually add some instructions to the to the seller maybe they want to um, tell you a bit more about their, their location perhaps they're difficult to find do you need your customers postal address it's very important yes we do uh, customize exit pages if they can so we send them to a page um, this is useful if we want to track uh, how many people are actually exiting before they uh, make the purchase because then we can put a counter on that page and we can actually see how many people actually get directed to that page and we could actually 
maybe do a survey on the page why they cancelled etc um, take this customer to a URL when they finish the checkout so if they do everything properly they go through and buy the item uh, we can send them to a special page to say thank you uh, I'm not going to tick any of these boxes I'm going to leave them um, to the default PayPal uh, pages and that's it as far as we're we're concerned now we can create the button so let's create the button okay this is the code the PayPal produces and then we can add this to a website or email I'm going to add it to a website so we select the code and control C to copy it and then we're going to go to our, our web page editor and we're going to paste that into our web page in the location that we wanted the the code to appear the but the the button to appear and this is what they'll see there over there okay and I'm going to show you that in uh, another video uh, what it looks like and what happens when they click on the button and exactly what they see and what you see as the as the seller okay that brings us to the end of this video until the next video bye